That is such a cool animation. So I just played the Stellar Blade demo and I am incredibly impressed. I didn't know what to expect. I heard about this game when it used to be called Project Eve. I think that was like 2019, 2020 when they revealed the like prototypes of it. And yeah, uh, initially I was like, this game looks interesting. I, you know, I'm a big fan of Azulane. Azulane is a game with beautiful waifus. So I am pretty partial. <laughs> Uh, to pretty characters and games and I know right now I hear there's like quite a bit of a controversy which I don't really interact with like controversial topics on Twitter or anything but uh, that's it's gotten so loud that I can kind of get a sense that yeah people are getting pretty hot and bothered <laughs> in the wrong way <laughs> about the character designs in Stellar Blade which here's my two cents on that I really like attractive characters and I don't objectify women. <laughs> you could ask the people around me that I am, I identify as a feminist. I read feminist literature and yeah, I, I just like attractive characters and I know this character does not represent all women, <laughs> which is something I think even people who get upset about these characters forget about. <laughs> they're like they're just as bad as the people who they're complaining about, in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I am really in love with the character designs. With that said, like they're really beautiful. The long ponytail is a very nice touch, and yeah, the character designs are cute. I love her big gloves. <laughs> That's my favorite part of her character design. To be honest, it's so kind of video gamey and cartoony that it's really charming um and uh, this game in just in the demo has a lot of charm like the sort of bonfires like the okay i gotta mention this game pulls inspiration from a lot of different games and it has come together in a really nice package just from what i could tell in the demo and yeah, there's a lot of charm in it there's like bonfire checkpoints where like you could rest and then when you rest there health regenerates you get um items uh, replenish oh your health uh like an estus flask <laughs> sort of replenishes and enemies respawn and it, there's like a nice little charm to it because there's music you could rest there's a vending machine you have to pop in a coin in to turn on it's, it's so charming and i maybe it's just because i thought the characters looked really pretty <laughs> But I got really emotional in just the opening part of the demo. Uh, this will probably, I think it, the game just, the demo just gives you the first like hour of the game, um, which is a nice little sample piece there. And yeah, I got really emotional just from playing the first part of it. I'm not going to spoil what happens and my footage is going to cut out that part. Yeah, uh, but I got really emotional. I almost cried. and. I, one thing that really helped that though was for the emotional impact is the music. The music so far has been really, really good. Just listen to the like home, the PlayStation homepage theme song that plays when you hover over the demo. If this hovers, if this plays over like when you get the official game, that's going to be great. I really hope there will be like a, I mean, of course people are going to upload it to YouTube, but I really hope in the game there will be like a place you could just listen to the soundtrack on its own. That'd be really nice. Heck, it'll probably come up in the little like record player <laughs> that's in the checkpoints. But that's, that's another thing that makes it so charming, man. I am so excited for this game. I haven't even talked about the combat yet because the combat is so cool. It has like Sekiro. It has some souls, it has some Devil May Cry, and I think that's an incredible combination. And uh, <laughs> Yoko Taro said it himself that it's better than Nero Automata. And so far, I have been more blown away from Stella Blade's demo than I have been with Nero Automata. Don't get me wrong, Nero Automata is pretty great, but the combat, in my opinion, is really lacking. As somebody who has grown up playing like Devil May Cry and Bayonetta, like those games, I really like the combat in it. And Nier Automata has the flash, but the mechanics aren't really there. 
but in Stella Blade, the mechanics are there. I remember, what was that skill called? Blink? When I found out about that skill and I was using it in battle, my mind was blown. I was like, this looks so cool and it's so functional to like, this is another parry kind of thing that is so flashy and so rewarding. It's incredible. The, the gameplay is way too good and the animations when like Eve is doing takedowns and cutting enemies up, they're really cool. I also... And, the, and again, like I said, the music really helps with the emotional weight of the story. But I got to say, the tone of it is pretty serious. Like, you kind of do feel that the world has died and you're trying to restore what little bit of humanity is left and trying to grow it, you know? And I get that sense just from the demo. That's insane. <laughs> so I feel like this game's tone is going to be handled very maturely. And I I kind of feeling like this might be the game of the year. I was kind of going to give that to Princess Peach Showtime. That's not even a joke <laughs> because I love Princess Peach. And I really love games that are pretty chill. And I play Tekken a lot. I play Persona. Persona isn't really like a super like involved game, but... Still, I, like, I play games with some challenge to them, so it's really nice and refreshing when I get to play a game that's very relaxing. And uh, so that's why Princess Peach Showtime was going to be like, that's my game of the year. Stella Blade, it's beautiful. The soundtrack is great. Character design's great. Story is well told so far. <laughs> and yeah, the combat is incredible. The boss fight in the demo is so cool, so fun. And I'm like, this... And this isn't even like all the mechanics the game has to offer. Like I, you see the skill tree, it's, it's pretty big <laughs> and there might be even more to it. So this just the fact that there's more to it is kind of mind blowing to me. It makes me so excited to finally dig my teeth into this game. I wasn't really that excited for it until I played the demo. I was just kind of curious, but now I am really like, Ooh, I got to get this game as soon as possible, which I unfortunately We'll most likely not be able to play it the day of release. I'll probably be able to play it like by the end of May. But uh, definitely, definitely will make more content for it. We'll probably stream my um, my my playthrough of it on on here on YouTube. So subscribe if you're interested in Stellar Blade. Subscribe if you like beautiful waifus because I mostly do that as Elaine content and that is full of beautiful waifus. So you might be into that. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Oh, since I'm talking about subscribing, shout out to members. Love you. Appreciate you. You keep the train rolling here. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, Stellar Blade is looking incredible. I can't wait to play full version. Again, probably won't be able to tune until May, but I will definitely be making content for it. And if you like a gaming content that is like kind of action oriented and just fun vibes you know this channel will very much welcome you okay I, that, that, that's all i gotta say this is just my impressions from playing the demo what do you think about celebrate are you mad about the character designs uh what are your thoughts on the character designs did you play the demo what'd you think of it how great was that soundtrack let me know and uh i'll see you in the next video hopefully all right take care